Hello everybody, Adam at Develop PHP here and this Adobe After Effects tutorial will be demonstrating how to create cool movie intro credit sequences. And a lot of times you'll see in the beginning of movies or shows where they have an animated credit sequence where the characters or the cast's name comes up in 3D layers and cameras are panning all around and stuff and it looks all like the text is standing in 3D space and it's really cool looking so I just wanted to demonstrate how they achieve that sometimes okay first thing we'll do is get a new composition going for this example so we go to new composition and make sure we set the size that we want everything appropriately and if you have a really large composition that you're making make sure you have big enough imagery okay let's go to press OK and we'll set the I could have set the duration of this rendering to the exact amount I wanted, but I can also just drag this bar. So instead of 30 seconds, I can just make it 10 seconds, and that's what I'll do. Okay, so now let's bring in the files that we want. Let's import multiple files. Let's grab that brick texture map and hold control and grab the water texture map. Open. So they'll both come in. They'll both come into the project window here. And then you can just drag them into the composition window. Alright, so let's grab the brick, drag it into the composition window. Let's set them both to have 3D, the property for 3D. Let's unlock that one. So when you set something to have a 3D property, it has a 3D layer allows this layer to be manipulated in three dimensions so that's why we set that 3D property there that way we can manipulate this thing in 3D space so now let's lock the bricks grab the water texture map I just made it to where I can't see the bricks because I just wanted to see the water so I'm going to bring the water a little bit towards me there using the Z, the Z property all you have to do is put your mouse over these arrows and you'll get the property that you want and you can manipulate it. Okay, now let's go ahead and lock that one. Open it up, its properties, and go to transform, opacity, bring that down. And we're just going to put this one in. Oh, let's unlock it first. We're going to put this one in just to show you some uh, contrast of what layers are where. Okay, so now we're looking at both of those layers again. And now since they're set on 3D, if we were to turn and manipulate things, you would see them both on different layers. So before we turn things around and show you, or turn things about and show you, I'm going to let's close that up and I'm going to add a couple of text fields. Some text layers. And this one will say produced by let's add another one there we go and you can group these together to where they were in all different layers but I want to leave them in separate layers just for this example make this one a little bit larger they're produced by Adam Corey Okay. Now let me get the two more uh, text layers that I want in. Okay, I have all of the elements that I want for this little demonstration in my composition window. And I'm going to make sure I set all of those elements to 3D so they can be manipulated in 3D space. Now, what I'm going to do is let's grab the wall. Let's lock everything. I'm going to grab the brick wall. I'm going to send it back just a little bit. See, if I bring it forward, it'll cover up that text, and then it'll cover up the water eventually there. You see that? Let's bring that back just a bit to where it's just behind the text. And then I'm going to grab the water and push it closer to the text there we go right about there now we can lock everything and go and uh, 
add our camera now. So adding the camera will add the movement that we want and positioning of certain elements to play out in the movie. Alright, everything looks like it's in position and it's locked. I'm going to go to Layer. Make sure I click my composition window. Go to Layer, New, Camera. And press OK. You can change the presets for what type of camera you want. And I'm just going to leave mine custom. Actually, I'm going to go to 35mm. Press OK. And then I'm going to start by opening the camera's uh, properties here, the transform properties, and we're going to use these, the point of interest and the position, to make the camera flow the way we want to. So the first thing we'll do is bring it up to, let's move it up to where we just see produced by in the picture there. So let's bring it in, because what we're going to do is get it into position and then we're going to to move it. I wanted to start it right there. Now I'm going to press the clock or the stopwatch for each of the point of interest and the position. So now they can be animated. When I move this marker to my next keyframe where I want the next uh, keyframe to occur, you'll see that when I move things, another little yellow dot will appear a little yellow diamond showing that new keyframes have been made and it will be animated. So what we're going to do is back off. Let's back off some. Let's turn the camera a bit. Let's go down a little bit. Like this. Now let's move it over and make another keyframe. Now let's manipulate the point of interest and positions again. Come down move it over this way and I'm really twisting the camera about so we can really see what our layers are doing there 